I'll tell you what sums up Jeremy Corbyn for me was when we had a march of the steelworkers in Westminster. He was there at the front holding the banner. But when the hard work needed to be done, when we were meeting with businesses, when we were meeting with industry, when we were meeting with government to try and find solutions, he wasn't there. I think it's really important that Labour Party members understand that we in the Shadow Cabinet really wanted to make things work and that we wanted to be loyal as well. So I didn't go back every month and tell tales and say about the things I was worried about. I tried to get them to work better um, internally. I think that's what you should always try and do. One example people may have heard of is that we were planning a really big campaign around uh, the rise in rail fares that takes place at the beginning uh, of January. Not only an opportunity to have a go at the Tories but also to talk about our flagship rail policy bringing the franchises back into public ownership. I was so disappointed when we'd got activists up and down the country out campaigning on that issue and the same day Jeremy chose to launch his shadow cabinet uh, reshuffle completely knocking it off uh, the agenda. He says now that I should have known he was going to do that but it's an absolute nonsense when we planned uh, that campaign day uh, for weeks. It really undermined me and all the hard work that my staff and uh, our Labour activists up and down the country uh, had been doing. I represent Ashfield in Nottinghamshire. It's a former coal mining seat. I'm surrounded by lots of other coal mining seats. Other coal mining seats that now have Tory MPs with big majorities. We need to win those seats back. We need a leader that can go and listen to those people, not just who did vote Labour, but those people who we lost last time who used to vote Labour. I don't think Jeremy can reach out. We need a leader that will roll up their sleeves, that will grab a crisis and really, really try and fix it. Jeremy Corbyn just is not that leader. I think we need a fresh start. That's why I'm backing Owen. Jeremy can't do it and that's why I'm backing Owen Smith to be Labour leader.